Okay, so this is a workout lifting routine. Watch and mirror me. Just do what I do. Go all the way down. Throughout the workout, make sure that your back is straight and you're looking forward. Your posture is important. You want to keep your back healthy. As you mirror me, notice my posture. Feel those muscles that you want to work on. You're the only one, the only person that's feeling those muscles that are working. No trainer will tell you what you're feeling. So you know and you feel. You're the one who gets the benefit. So those muscles that you want to shape are going to work. I'm going to show you a routine that goes cycles through the entire body. You could focus on some more and some less. Do more of some if you want to do your thighs more or I don't care. But it's also important to do the whole body. A, because when you focus on one part and not the other, it might be out of proportion. Again, it's up to you. But doing the whole cycle both keeps your whole body strong, keeps it aligned, the muscles are aligned because all of them are working. What's nice about this workout is that one muscle is working and the others are resting. And then the next group of muscles are working and the first one is resting. So then by the time you finish the cycle, the first group was pretty rested and you continue the cycle a bunch of times. You can do this for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you go up to an hour. Just feel yourself. And I'm going to give you tips along the way. First is really encourage yourself to start. I don't care. Put on makeup, music that you like, headphones, clothes with fun colors, whatever helps you feel good about yourself. Think about good thoughts, good people. Great music with headphones is really inspiring. It's an incredible motivator, music. You can open another tab while you watch this one. A YouTube playlist, a radio. Chewing gum works for people too. Get started. I promise you this is so rewarding. You have no idea. Workout in general. This is one of the most rewarding activities in the world. And I suggest give yourself five minutes of takeoff. Start with five minutes. So you just gotta start. Sometimes putting on makeup helps me. Seriously. Keep on mirroring what I do. Noticing my posture. Notice those muscles. You could get also feedback from a trainer at the gym. Make sure you're not hurting your back. Again, focus on those muscles, listen to your body, keep your back straight. Seriously, working out is a lifesaver. Again, one of the most rewarding activities in the world. Give yourself that five minutes of takeoff. While you're pushing, you focus on where you want to shape up. You can really target your anger. Excitement. Use your emotions. Whatever you have on your mind, whatever you don't have on your mind, whatever you're confronting, your fears. Take your fears and use them. Channel that energy. Energy changes, right? The energy of the sun turns into heat, turns into light, turns into movement. Take those confusions. Take those fears. Leverage them. Them to lift. Lifting is super healthy. It both prevents osteoporosis when you grow up, which is a problem for many women, but men as well. It creates bone density. It makes you really, really strong. Try to walk, go for a walk the night after you lift. Not the first time. First time you might get sore. Really, after you lift, ah, oh, you're so late. 
you get into this routine and any lifting routine, suddenly you feel strong. And suddenly your body is so easy to lift. I promise you, this is super rewarding. Again, channel the energy. If you have a crush on someone, if you're excited. If you're confused about what to do with yourself, take that confusion, take the sadness, anything. Any emotion could be channeled here into the listening. And ah, we think we're from the head up, but from the neck, but we're really light from the neck down. The body affects our thoughts and our life. I really suggest do anything that will make you feel better about who you are and see a better picture about yourself to motivate yourself to start. If you need friends, you can go to the gym, run outside, call someone first. Even at the gym, the guy in the front desk, those guys could help too. Keep on making sure your back is straight, if you're looking forward. We're gonna get down soon. Back to our imagination and thoughts. Everything is really in our head. Our motivation, our fears. That's what makes us weak in our immune system. It brings diseases over us. Ooh, another important thing. Just in general, for life. <laughs> Eat well, drink well, sleep well. If you haven't done those, moving could be hard too. If you're feeling slow throughout this routine, after the first cycle, second cycle, take a sip of water. You could also slow down. The nice thing about weights is you're actually supposed to do them slowly. It's not a, it's not an aerobic workout. Aerobic is important, they're both important. You could do one day strengthening and building. Actually going slowly actually burns that as well. Go for a slow walk. Slow is not bad. So don't stop if you're tired. Just slow down. So lifting weights is great to do slowly. Lifting weights slowly is actually better. If you're tired, you could just move a little bit slower and keep on. Sometimes I even take a piece of gum. Gum sometimes helps me keep on. <laughs> keep on noticing my posture. In part two of this video, I'm going to show you the same routine with some variations. You can do some variations yourself. Remember, you are the person that's feeling your muscle. You are the person that knows what your muscles are feeling. So those muscles, you know them and you feel them. And what you want to shape, focus on it. When you move your hand, you can focus on your stomach even to help you move your hand. But you are the one feeling those muscles. So whatever you want to shape up, you got to use it for this exercise. I hope I come through. Feel the muscle. If you're not feeling it, it's probably not working so much. While we work out, positive ideas come up. I actually have always a notebook next to me. Working out is so great for life. Back to motivation. 
I want you to know that I truly and honestly love you at this moment, person hearing this. Not more or less, I just love the beauty that every person holds. I love you for being yourself at this moment. I love many people. That feels wonderful. I love the focus in my life. Try it. Nearly everyone is worthy of being loved. Each one of us has something that they're better at, has something that's good. I see everyone is beautiful with different types of beauty. And it's just a great focus to have in life. When you appreciate something, it appreciates. In English, appreciates also means grows, expands. Same thing about yourself. Look at what's good about yourself. Your body. You have a pretty eyelash. Focus on the good stuff. And you'll keep on noticing good stuff. You'll, you'll feel good, and then you'll notice more good things. And then you'll feel like good things are happening to you, which are all the time. It's really a mind of perception. Anyway, back to me and you, person listening to this. I love you. And I'm grateful for your trying. And I just want to share my happiness and shaping up with you. When you work out, the world is just so much more beautiful. And that practice, you always get better. Same with muscles, same with practice. In the next routine, I'm going to show you different variations. And some of them I came up with, some of them I got from home instructors. I want to encourage you also to be creative and share with me because I could definitely learn more. Nobody is an expert, even the experts can learn more. Seriously. If you have any advice, just share. Enjoy the process. 